right, Shalom. 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 We're with you, Buzz, here from GMS Atlanta Church, coming with another lesson through the Spirit. Before we get started, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Dash. Double honors to our apostles and elder, great millstone, who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honesty to occupy Christian truth and faith is sincere across the four corners. Shalom, peace, and blessings to you, sincere listeners. Listen and subscribe to the men by Shirley Bay Millstone. Um, as, the title, as the title reads, um, you know, tonight we're going to go into uh, utilizing patience uh, in our walks. You know, uh, you know myself and, the, and you know, the brothers here, we're just discussing, you know, as far as uh, just going to the topic and spirit of, uh, of patience. You know, and how the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashi, now uh puts us in, in certain, you know, in, uh, situations and predicaments in which it really forces us to utilize, you know, the spirit of patience. You know, in which, you know, like we were speaking on, you know, unlike, you know, the, the unwanted, you know, two-thirds of our nation, we have an understanding of why we're going through certain things. And even to the point in which the Most High instructed us to uh, prepare ourselves for, uh, you know, uh, tribulation in, in tight times and tight moments. So, you know, without further ado, we're going to go right into um, into the lesson, you know, Lord, when you're edified. Um, to open up, we're going to go into the etymology of the word utilize, in which um, the word utilize is a verb. It says from 1794, from French, Italian, uh, pretty much wanted to be uh, usable, from Latin, utilis, also saying usable. From UT, it says, make use of, profit by, take advantage of. You see, so, you know, like we were saying, as far as um, the situations in which, you know, we're, we're placed in and we're going uh, uh, to and through, you know, it gives us the opportunity to actually make use of the spirit of patience, you know what I'm saying, and uh, uh, also to take advantage and profit by it, you know? Uh, here was any precepts? Uh, Romans 5 and 3 it says and not only so but we glory in tribulation also knowing that that tribulation worketh patience mm -hmm. right? and to utilize you can really uh, it's synonymous with, with workers because uh, utilize is a verb alright so you have to activate it or, uh, or uh, do if you will uh, patience Okay, it's just um, no matter what we're going through, you know, um, because we're coming in a time, man, where you know things are going to get tighter. So now, working the patience and practicing with uh, patience and utilizing patience now will ultimately uh, help us in the long run. Man. Now, uh, real quick, I'm gonna get. Book of Psalms, chapter uh, chapter forty. I'm we'll start at the top, and this is a, a song of uh, David. It says, "I waited patiently for the Lord Yahweh Shai, and He inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings." And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our power. Many shall see it and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. You know, I was you know, which, you know, that was three verses, but it was a lot that went into those verses. You know, as far as even King David saying that he waited upon the Lord, you know, I was you know, and, you know, in which, you know, us being here in uh, Babylon the Great, being in America, and you know, brothers being in that particular uh, place of captivity or across the four corners, we really we're really put in a position in which we have no choice but to wait for the return of our Lord and Messiah and how we shot. Yeah. You know? And um, you know, that's it, uh there was a lot that kind of went into these these, these, these three verses, but he said he brought me up also out of the horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my bones. You see, so that King David was, was saying how Yahweh uh, Shnei Shai brought him out of uh, a, a dark place, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? And establish him on a rock, establish him on a firm foundation, in which we, you know, we were uh, brought brought forth out of uh, 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 you know 
utter darkness, spiritual darkness, and we were established upon the rock of the Havashah. And then um, we're trusting in the Havash and the and the Holy Spirit to uh, uh, establish our way and establish our moments, man. You know? And that's how we, uh, uh, you know, activate and really begin to, to utilize and profit from and take advantage of these situations that we're placed in, you know, to, to really uh, 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 grow through the Spirit by, oh. utilizing, by utilizing patience. All right? And then this last verse, then, because that verse of uh, Psalm verse 43 again, it says, And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our power. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. And how about she now shy? And the beautiful thing about now, how, how ultimately we're waiting for the return of our Lord and Messiah, and how shy, we have access to this testimony of our Lord, you know, in which we, we can uh, uh, be active no matter what situation we're in because, you know, we, we have the, the ability to continue to, to push the gospel and give uh, uh, hope to our, to our people, man, you know, and to, um, and, um, and also to glorify and magnify the name of Yahweh Shinel Shai. So as the Heavenly Father continues to uh, increase his judgment across the four corners and continue to bring the plagues and judgment across the four corners, we will have people that are going to fall in line, go up through the Spirit, because uh, of, of our courage and uh, faith and strength through the, through the, through the Spirit, in which Yahweh Shinel Shai has granted us by uh, uh, forcing us to be patient in certain situations. Yeah. Um, this is the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 25, verse 28. It says, He that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Because, you know, uh, it says, He that have no rule over his own spirit. So, in order for you to have rule over your spirit, it, it, that uh, comes with the exercise of patience. You know? Being able to, uh, you know, withhold, you know, certain, you know, comments, you know, certain uh, movements that you want to do before, it's an exercise of patience, man. And that shows you how, if you don't have the, the ability to exercise your patience, hey, the enemy can, can be able to infiltrate you, man. So, you know, they can penetrate you, man, like Jones is going into, man. You know, so the, 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 ability, the ability for us to exercise our patience it, it comes with a lot, man. You know, it comes, it, it builds your faith. You know, it, it, it builds your trust in the Lord. You know, it, it, it builds your trust in the, in, the, in the options that surround the body. You know, because you, you can see, you, 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 you literally see the growth, you know, that the obviously that I was going into. You can see the, the growth, you know, that, that you once came uh, uh, from where you first started to where you at now, man. You know, and you, and you Start to trust certain things, and you can literally see that you're exercising patience. Mm -hmm. uh, Psalm chapter 37, verse 7, it says, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. It says, Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked the devices uh, to pass. For Satan cease from anger and forsake wrath. Just like it tells you in the book of Romans. It says, uh, fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Exactly. So I want to bring that out because we were, we're harping on the word patience, but there's always opposites. So, you know, uh, there's something that, you know, that's opposite to something else, which in turn gives you a choice. Mm -hmm. All right? So, you know, like, what's opposite of good and evil? Mm -hmm. What's opposite of patience? Hasty. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong, you got hasty in the spirit, then you got to be hasty at being rash. So with that, overzealous, you see. Mm -hmm. uh, here's the word haste in the etymology, and it's hurry, haste, swiftness, speed, all right? Uh, whenever you're in a hasty spirit, you're like questioning the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, go ahead. Well, it's like when, you, when you read the account, when you read the scripture, so that was Judas, man. Right. Mm -hmm. Judas, he, 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 was, he, was, he was hasty, and he really didn't trust the Lord. Right. Right. That's 100%. <laughs> All right. When, you, when, you're, when you're overly hasty, you're not giving um, room for prophecy to take place. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it says, uh, haste, urgency, hastiness, but the point I want to get to is uh, rashness. Mm -hmm. 
that's, that's the word, being rash or irrational. You make uh, irrational decisions when you're not patient. Being patient in turn keeps you uh, as a logical being, you could say. Uh, it says cease from anger. Right? When you cease from anger, that usually when you're angry, you do shit in haste. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, I can beat you, beat his ass, whatever, you know what I'm saying? When you just don't need to do that. Uh, there's one word that Deacon Bar Law you know, put me on was the word of flower. So you have the same emotion or, you know, like even kill. Even kill, no matter what happens, which takes a level of patience to accomplish or to master or to practice. Being on fat on flower. A, a perfect example of that is a person that plays poker. Who you never know what they got in their hand. Yeah, mm-hmm. the poker face is always in. Yeah, yeah. They throw their hand over the hand too early or too late. They right. Throw the game. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's it. That's perfectly made. I know this brother loves his word, temperance. Yeah. yeah. Controlling one's desire and lust. Yeah. Desire is a long, a longing for, yeah. for something. Just patiently wait for the Lord to do whatever. Yeah. All right? Don't. don't. Who are you to rush the Lord? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it says, uh, forsake wrath. Because like the scripture says in Sirach the 10th chapter, uh, furious anger is not made for men. Yeah. It says, fret not thyself in any wise and good evil. Exactly. You know, what do you mean? Uh, yes, yeah, it's going back to the point of, uh, you know, Judas. Because Judas, once Judas realized, you know, that he, you know, really lacked patience, and he would be cut, he, he, he was hurt in the inside. Super guilty. He, yeah, yeah. He, he was super guilty. To the point where you know he hung himself, man. You know, and that and that shows you that hey, if you have the spirit of the Lord within you, you know, you always have to realize that you have the spirit of the Lord within you. Man. So mm-hmm. If you if you make irrational movements, hey, it, it, that that guilt is going to be playing your mind over and over. Like like men who fell out the truth, bro, they guilt they they guilt tripping, man. Right. As we speak, man. You know. And you you'll get replaced, man, just like Jews was was replaced with uh Matthias, man. That's it. You know, there's always you know, there's a sweet spot. Mm-hmm. Always a sweet spot with everything, man. Yeah. There's a sweet spot with being uh overly patient too. Mm-hmm. Which can yeah. go which can in turn, you know, adjectives can be being bashful. Mm-hmm. Overly bashful. Or right? or trying to be, you know, what you could say, over righteous. Yeah. You know, nah. All right. Uh, or just being not patient or you know being overly hasty, mm-hmm. which in turn like what the brother's saying, that that'll get you cast out, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you gotta be an overly hasty or oh, 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 oh. Yeah. be pushy. It's like brother, you need to sit down. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a, it's a balance, it's a sweet spot. Yeah. You know? And then that go back to um how we how we started off by going to that word utilize too. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying like just like the, uh, the officer said, you can be uh, patient and, and long suffering in a sense, but then you can become also become over righteous and just just taking on trying to take on too much, man. Right. And see, and, and by not be, by not moving and acting when the spirit is nudging you to, to act, like you gotta know when to sit your ass down, right. but you gotta know when to move as well. By you know, by not taking heed to that nudge in the spirit for you to be become more active, mm-hmm. you see what I'm saying? You get to the point that you're not Utilizing and maximizing the opportunity mm-hmm. to grow in, through that situation. We, hey, we always say keeping a fire. Mm-hmm. It's tough to like you, you, you know, even to make a fire. Yeah, you know, we're, it's tough to. Okay, you made the fire. You got the catalyst or the spark. And even when the fire starts, you gotta keep it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a little bit of oxygen, a little bit. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, a little bit. You know, yeah. cover it up a little bit. And you gotta mm-hmm. keep the fire. It it takes a sweet spot. Time. For that to work, and you, the, the word utilize, mm-hmm. and if I'm not mistaken, have that word advantage in it, right? Yeah, uh, take take advantage of. Take okay, mm-hmm. it says take advantage of. Mm-hmm. When you go into the word advantage. It, it the word advantage has um, superiority in it. Mm-hmm. All right, so when you utilize it mm-hmm. uh, patience, ultimately you're becoming a superior being. Mm-hmm. You see, you know. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the word patience. Okay. Come on. Right. Mm-hmm. Or the quality of the quality of being willing to bear adversities, mm-hmm. calm endurance of misfortune, 
Mm. Suffering, uh, sufferance. Uh, you said calm endurance. Uh, it says calm endurance of misfortune. Mm. Ooh, hey, you mind our brother suffering? Of course. Because we, cause me and the officer were speaking about this in the spirit beforehand. We quoted it too. Might as well just get it. Okay. Okay, you got it too, bro. Okay. It's uh, Philippians chapter four and twelve. It says, uh, I know both how to be abased mm -hmm. and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Yeah, I mean, but that goes, as I was reading that precept, the word temperance came in, uh, uh, to mind, you know, knowing how to abound, how to, how to go through a, a period of being abased, yeah. you know, because, uh, uh, you know, before, Lord willing, we are counted in the uh, the number of the elect, we you know hopeful elect, but shoot, we gotta we gotta be a base before we can be glorified and magnified with our Savior, Yahweh Yeah, hey, so I'm saying hey, just to make a quick point, mm -hmm. the scripture speak in the book of Zechariah that what well, the Lord came riding in on the ass. Yeah, 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 come, yeah, come, yeah, Lord, we, uh, riding upon the ass. Mm -hmm. Even going to the uh, the uh, thirty shekels of silver. Yes, like, he, he he abound it later on, man. Right, you know? it, it goes to that. No matter no matter which course you choose or you're led to, it's all a portion of prophecy anyway. Yeah. You gonna, at this point, we're going to either be counted as men who are of the elect for a woman, or you're going to be counted as a man who who could who uh, didn't uh, uh, fit the bill, man. Who couldn't you know go through this process and and, and endure and suffer it. To, to uh, receive your crown the same way uh, Yahweh Shai did. Mm -hmm. uh, if I can add, I want to uh, mention Job. Mm -hmm. See, Job, mm -hmm. all the things and the misfortunes he went through, he endured. Mm -hmm. And through patience, he came out on top because mm -hmm. he was increased. You know, yeah. everything that he had lost, he was increased with tenfold, mm -hmm. hundredfold, mm -hmm. hundredfold. Yeah. See, and, and if you try to skip steps along the way of your walk, you're missing out on certain experiences, man, mm -hmm. that could uh, shape and mold you into the person that the house of the wants you to be. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's the saying that they use, uh, trust the process. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, that takes a level of patience to trust the process that you can't actually see unfolded right before your eyes. Mm -hmm. But you know in the back of your mind, like, the Lord ain't just doing this to me just to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he's doing it so that once I come out, uh, uh, or once I take this on the chin, I'll come out a better person, man. Like that gold being tried in the fire. Mm -hmm. uh, that takes uh, patience, man. That's right. Uh, yeah. get to most perfect. Oh, get it. Go ahead. Go ahead. So it says um, quality of being willing to bear adversities, calm, endurance of misfortune, suffering. Mm -hmm. uh, Sufferance, it says, uh, endurance, uh, submission. Oh man, that's heavy, man. Yeah. Submission, man. Yeah, right. You know, actually understanding that whatever we're going through is a uh, is a uh, trying and proving us, yeah. and uh, uh, being being uh, open and willing to go through the process, like the brother said, you know, the officer said, to uh, uh, come out on the other side to be more refined and more polished. You know, to add on to what the, uh, the officer said as far as trusting the process. You know, and of course, there's levels to everything, but one thing that I've even uh, um, learned and I'm personally working on is trust the process, yes, but then learning and train yourself to love the process, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because really, when you think about it, a lot of times the, the journey and the process, that's where the, the, the most uh, satisfaction comes from, man. Yeah. Because you have to actually go through and push through those obstacles and you got to challenge yourself. Like even, um, you know, uh, 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 in our particular camp, we got the head man really on us to, you know, to, to push us from, you know, from the top, but also to um, impart us for us to push ourselves, man. You know, really push through your obstacles, your, your the, you know, uh, uh, continue to shut off that old man and continue to uh, uh, embrace uh, how you know, about you know, the spirit can make you a better man, you know, in, in all ways and all, in all facets. So, yeah, man, going to this mission and that like, also to ask what the officer said as far as, <clears throat> Allowing and trusting in your how about you shine, not moving hastily in the sense that you're moving according to your emotions and how you feel and, and, and succumbing to that uh, uncomfortable, uncomfortable uh, state in that moment, 
But having that trust in Yahweh by Shanyam Shah and submitting to his will, man, it, it unlocks a whole different level that the most high really is like, oh man, yeah, he's going through something. He may not understand exactly why he's doing it, but he's trusting it because he's taking this uh, challenge and this uh, um, opportunity in the right spirit. Yeah, if I can say it, just be raw about it because the Lord don't give a damn how you feel, man. Mm, yeah. You don't give a hot damn how you feel. Your feelings better not be involved in this ministry. That's, awesome. That's the spirit ministry. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going into the word of patience. It said, um, submissive in there. Yeah, the ministry is a servant. Mm -hmm. A servant is very patient. Yeah, okay, that's it. Just servants told what to do and go do it. Mm -hmm. That's what we're in here for, like yeah. nothing else. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Uh, there's a couple of verses in the book of Luke, chapter 21. I'll start at uh, verse uh, 14. It says, Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall, before what ye shall answer. Right. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Mm. And uh, these are the letters of, uh, of uh, the words of Yahweh Shah, man. It says, Verse 16, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren, and kinfolks and friends. And some of you shall they shall they cause to be put to death, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Verse 18, it says, But there shall but there shall not a hair on your head, head perish, and your patience possess you your souls. Mm. So the Lord, hey, our Lord and Savior, is telling us this, man. You know, that's why it's important to read, you know, into these accounts because that's where it's going back to the point of, of us, us having faith, you know, and also self-control, man, because what? And really all things lead to the chip, man, you know? So when the Lord puts us in these situations, these these instincts is, has to arise, man, your thoughts. That's why the Lord gave, gave us this wisdom, man. Patience, you know? You, you present it with the chip, the scripture said, that should not be a hair, a hair on your head to uh, touch, right? Mm -hmm. Patience. Patience. Wait be upon the Lord, man. You know? It's where these things have to kick in, man, because really all things lead to the church. You know? Even though we exercising it now in our everyday walk, hey, it's going to lead to, to uh, you know, uh, being tempted by sin. You know? Satan may jump on our family members. You know? But hey, wait, the Lord is going to get us out of these situations. Really That's the spirit to bring that out because that first verse you read is somewhat the point too. Yeah. It says settle it mm -hmm. in the heart. So and then the rest comes. Hey, people will come up against you, your own family members, but have the patience. Mm -hmm. You got to settle that in your mind when you're ever in cooking or baking. You let you let oh, yeah, the right. bread settle or mm -hmm. you know or rest. You see what I'm saying? It's the same thing with the scriptures. You gotta let these settle and resonate and marinate in your mind, man. Because like the brother was saying, we're gonna be put in these situations to where we're gonna have to exercise these scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. And you gotta read them to let it settle in your mental, mm -hmm. settle in your spirit, yeah. all right? Especially the patience. Mm -hmm. you know, okay, we hear that, all right? So even even in time, we were just talking about times of being weird, man. Yeah. All right, the prophecies is just happening. But we know it's happening, we, but we're sitting here being patient and letting things play out. Mm -hmm. It's not forcing the course of the river. Even so, how can we force it? No, it's all it's just going to happen. Yeah. You just got to sit and wait, and wait it out. Mm -hmm. It's like penitentiary. Yeah, wait, right. you got to wait your time mm -hmm. until you get out. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because it's already said in the curses, no man shall redeem us. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, we want to do it all. You know what I'm saying? Because one that goes through, one that goes through, 
know, certain experiences, it shapes them into who they ultimately are at the end of the day. You know, if you just sit and not go through anything, you don't know how to act when you're faced with adversity. Yeah. You know, you kind of like thrown to the wolves. You know, you've been sheltered or you've been uh, in a bubble, if you will. But if you've not found out, you've got experience. Uh, so this is uh, Surah 34 and 9. A man that has travailed no many things. And he that has much experience will declare wisdom. All right? So in traveling, you're picking up things along the way that adds some to you, man, and, and become, uh, become wise to certain things. Yeah. Uh, what's the term of the word? A grain. You ain't yeah, green. green. You ain't green to certain things. Yeah. You know? It might have been actually a point. That's why we we so adamant about uh, not just sitting back and watching videos and and just and, and, and you man, you gotta get you gotta be active, man. You know, that's going even going back to uh, the word patience, which was a bird, right? Uh, uh, so I can utilize it was a bird. And if y'all probably remember that with that commercial, that bird commercial. Said it's bird is what you do. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So you, that's how you gotta be, man. You gotta be active with this thing, man. You know you gotta know. Yeah. Verse 10, he that have no experience, no little. But he that have prevailed is full of prudence, man. Hey, and the word patience is synonymous with experience. You if you if you travel, you wanna take your time, man, and, and sight and sightseeing. You know, take pictures, relax, you know, have a drink, and enjoy the experience. You don't just want to go through this. You ain't seen nothing, you ain't took no pictures, you ain't went to no landmark work. Like, bro, why'd you go? Know? You know what I'm saying? You just went just to drive through. So like, bro, you didn't pick up nothing along the way, man. That's a person without patience. I ain't got time to take a picture. I ain't got time to go here. I ain't got time to go there. Bro, they might to come. But, you know, that's, that's the worst kind of person to travel with. Yeah. They don't want to do nothing. They want yeah. to sit in the hotel room. Like, I bro, did that at home. You <laughs> yeah. at home, bro. You're impatient and you're ready to go. You're ready to go back home so you can come. Yeah. Like, bro, pick up some experiences along the way. Yeah. You know? Chop up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come, come. This is, um, Surah 34 and 9. Yeah. 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 Yeah
things as far as, as, far as martial law, okay, as, as far as uh, uh, unemployment going through the roof, yeah. as far as hyperinflation, as far as shit, troops coming and, uh, uh, to kick in your door, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and, and, and take you and your family. We're already, and the one, the one word the buzz is saying that we're sticking with me about this exercise. You know, we're already exercising certain spirits and certain uh, groups of the spirits, including patients, yeah. in which when those things happen, we're like, man, we're going to trust in the Lord, man. No matter what happens, we're going to trust in the Lord and go into the most high making a way to the same. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, I'm going to say this again uh, to just highlight the point that as far as like exercising, you, when you go to the gym, you're exercising, you're doing certain things, but you're doing the same movements over and over again. Yeah. All you're trying to do is either to get more reps or increase the weight. Yeah. The movement is the same. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the, us exercising this uh, particular spirits, and uh, you know, as far as patients or other groups of the spirits, it's the same spirit you're exercising, but you're getting, you're getting stronger in it. You see what I'm saying? You're able to um, utilize going to the uh, brother Bob, uh, and went into prudence, which means, you know, to uh, more or less take care of your affairs and, and your responsibilities and your duties. Be, be good at taking care of the things that's on your plate. We're just doing the same things, exercising the same spirit, but we're able to uh, uh, bear yeah. uh, 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 more serious situations yeah. or more of those situations. But what's the expectation at, 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 on the back end of it for you to utilize and have more wisdom? You see what I'm saying? For you to, to grow in uh, faith and trust in your how about you know, shot, for you to have more confidence with the uh, uh, the oncoming day of Jacob's trouble, man. That's uh, but if, what, what you're reminding me of is uh, the Corinthians. If you're in First Corinthians, I think it's First Corinthians 12, mm -hmm. where it says uh, the difference in operations for all the same spirit all in all. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, the adjectives that were used to prove it's uh, wisdom, patience, knowledge, all these things, it's different operations of the spirit, but it's all in all the same. Same, like you said, the same movement, but we're just exercising and using a lot, utilizing it to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. You know, like going, going to, you go to Spain or something, yeah. and like you said, sitting in a hotel, you're not utilizing, you're not maximizing the potential of your of your trip. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's the same thing with the truth. Okay, you can say you're in the truth, okay, you may have heard it, but if you're not reading, you're not maximizing the potential. Or the potential that the truth has. Yeah, that goes to high, that 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 you can't be scared of what the Lord has planned for you. Mm -hmm. You just gotta go out and like yeah. the officer trust in the Lord and let it happen. If I can well, add if I can add two to y'all y'all really point to uh, uh, have you ever seen a tourist? You know, a tourist, you'd be like, get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> you know, they driving <laughs> slow, right. they, they they sightseeing, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. taking it in, that's the right spirit to be in, man. When you're yeah. going through certain things. How about you now? It's time to put you in. Yeah. Take it, man. Right. Don't try to escape through it, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very dumb. Yeah, yeah you, you ever seen a tour in the motherfucker? Like, mm -hmm. bro, get out the way. <laughs> like, that's a patient spirit, man. They're yeah. taking their time and like, soaking it all in. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, we if we locals, we like, man, we've seen this shit already. Bro. Right. Get out the way. But yeah. they're, they're tourists, they're traveling. They gain an experience, man. Mm -hmm. We have to be in that same spirit. Uh, 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 Tour is one of the most patient people ever. Yeah. They'll drive fucking like five miles an hour. So, uh, <laughs> like, boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is Ecclesiastes chapter uh, 7 and 8 of Classic. Oh, man, yeah. It says, Oh, man, he's talking about 7. Because I was talking about Okay, set verse, uh, Ecclesiastes 7, slide. Yeah, 7 7. Mm -hmm. It says, surely oppression make it the wise man mad, mm -hmm. and a gift destroys the heart. You see, so, and that's one thing, too, because the officer was speaking of, uh, you know, becoming uh, uh, overly hasty and uh, uh, trying to move too quick. 
and really that's a, a, a spirit that's generally uh, enacted by uh, emotions, man. You know, I, I, his brother said uh, also as far as uh, thinking logically, in which our logic now being the logic of the world because we're able to partake in the mysteries of the scriptures through the spirit by the grace of Yahweh Shad, but our logic in the spirit is like sure logic, man, that you know, we can we can trust that uh, uh and have faith in the fact that if, if we're in certain situations, the most I can put the spirit on you to uh, uh to have spiritual powers, man. Like in a worldly sense, Jake like what are you talking about, bro? Like, yeah. You gonna fly? Like yeah. shit, Lord willing. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to make that point that um uh 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 a, a counter force to utilizing and maximizing and profiting of the situation and the activation of the spirit of a, 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 a patience can be uh, that emotion, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that oppression and that, that making you mad. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You're trying to, you know, I'll make it happen, man. Like, yeah. nah, bro. Like, oh. that probably ain't the best course to take right now. Yeah. That's I don't know. Right. Well, I was say, just land back in my viewpoint, even going back to the book of John. Because even after Jonah prophesied, you know, this minute was that they were going to be destroyed in 40 years, he sat, you know, in the place out on the hill, you know, was watching and waiting for the Lord to destroy him. But and, and even the Lord said the, the, the plant over him, mm -hmm. yeah, he grew the, I forget the time of the, uh, the Lord. Yeah, oh, the Lord. Lord trees. Yeah, the Lord tree. And, and, and that shows you, because I think the next day the Lord, uh, uh, destroyed the plant, but that shows you how the Lord exercises your patience too. Uh, uh, you know, when you read the book of John, all I say is because Joseph yeah. went into that situation hasty. Yeah. He said 40 days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 he all that time. Yeah. Yeah. And it was when it said uh, he's been presumptuous. Mm -hmm. You know, right. well, anybody tell you that? Be right. patient, just go do what I tell you. Go to the experience. Follow the spirit. spirit. Yeah. Follow the spirit, bro. That's, yeah. a, that's a great, um, that book is a great moral lesson. Yeah. Uh, because even so, when you go into the fourth chapter of Jonah, pretty much the whole chapter is like, mm -hmm. why are you mad? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you have no control. Mm -hmm. Why are you mad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you upset for? What, yeah. what did you? What did I do? Mm -hmm. Or do you? And really, the question of that: Do you have the right to be angry? Right. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, it's even in this sense, just because something didn't happen your way. Mm -hmm. That's why I say, when you get your feelings out of here. Yeah. yeah, being a prophet ain't nothing gonna go your way. Oh. All right, and you got and and you have to have the patience to understand that. Yeah, because the Lord is gonna designate things to go a certain way in your life how He wants it to. Mm -hmm. Or do you have the right to be mad at that? Mm -hmm. That's why the scripture say in Ezekiel eighteen, it says, "Are my ways yeah. unjust? Yeah. Your ways is unjust and yeah. unequal." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna reread uh, Ecclesiastes seven seven. Could I ask the precept for the verse? Ecclesiastes 7-7, surely oppression make a wise man mad, and the gift destroyed the heart. The reason I want to revisit this uh, is because that word gift. Gifts is something that's that's given instantly. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know, a birthday present. Oh, mommy, or <coughs> yeah. it's Christmas. Mommy, daddy, I'm going to be PS4. Boop, bop, yeah. get it. Didn't have to wait for shit. Mm -hmm. All right? It may have been uh, December 1st. They got the damn thing this December 25th. Yeah, you yeah. have to wait no time. Yeah. All right? With, with the reaping the benefits of the Lord, damn, it take years, man. Yeah. yeah. All right? This and is something I was going to say. Oh, yeah. When you work for it and suffer for it, it tastes better. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? There's something that's just given to you. Mm -hmm. You ain't did nothing for it. You know, look, got some money. Didn't work for it. You blow the hell out of this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you go to your 95 and that paycheck, <laughs> you're going to sit on that motherfucker. You're going to say down to the fucking bottom dollar. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is uh, Exodus chapter 23 and 8. Now, one more precept. So like, uh, it says, And thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blindeth the wise. Mm -hmm. And it's a wise thing to be patient. Mm -hmm. If the Lord is just a you know, magic genie in a bottle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what could you appreciate at on. that point? You become a god, yeah. right? And pretty much at, at that point, if the most highest you know, a, a genie you about the bottle, come out, come out the genie mm -hmm. bottle, you pretty much summon in the world when you want to activate them and then put them back in its place when you don't want them, right. you don't need them. Like, bro, that 
you ain't you ain't even get the concept of a, a god or a higher power and you being a servant at that point. Right. That's that's perfectly said as it is. Right. It says for the gift blinded the wise, that's perfectly said as it is. It says and perverted the words of of uh, the righteous. Mm -hmm. Right. So when when things are done in haste or quickly, then it it dilutes the true essence of what you know you're receiving or mm -hmm. doing or whatever. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just like the, the child. Yeah. Like, yeah, man, so, 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 hurry up, man. You know, <laughs> like, bro, I, you know, I wanted to go see the child. The, whatever. The right. piece of, whatever the fuck <laughs> it's called, man. Yeah. Yeah. That piece of shit building. Right. You know? I got like, another quick one. Right. I'm going to give it on the show. So this is on Ecclesiastes because it's a rock chapter 20, verse 29. I'm going to read on down. Mm -hmm. It says, presence of gifts. Blind the eyes of the wise mm -hmm. and stop up his mouth with that he cannot reprove. Mm -hmm. Literally, the blind hand in hand with yeah. the law. Yeah. All right, it says, uh, verse 30 wisdom that is hid and treasure that is hoarded up. What profit is in them both? Verse 31 better is he that hideth his folly than a man that hideth his wisdom. Mm -hmm. Right, you want to hide your folly from looking like an idiot. Yeah. Straight up. That's why it's stupid to say keep your foot in your mm -hmm. mouth when you yeah. It says uh and this is the point because the, the brother did you know he had the spirit on him to go into patience in your walk. Verse 32, necessary patience. That's what you look at? Okay. Okay. It says necessary patience and seeking the Lord is better. Than he that leadeth his life without God. Woo! Go ahead, uh, yeah. Hey, man, necessary patience. The scriptures are telling you that patience is extremely necessary in your walk. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hey, it's a spirit. You have the word walk in the title. Walking don't get you places fast. Mm -hmm. But you gotta be patient and you'll get to your destination sooner or later. Mm -hmm. You see? And then let the Lord guide you. Because it says what? It says, better is, okay, it says, necessary patience to see the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a God. So when you're walking, when you're walking with patience, you're letting the Lord lead you to where you need to be, man. And that's a wise thing. You got to go to church. Yeah, I got a quick one. Yeah, I got a quick one. Because we bring this out of Sirach chapter 2, where it is. Uh, yeah, 10. It says, Look at the generations of old and see did ever, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Long suffering, when the long suffering goes into patience, mm -hmm. it says, and very pitiful and forgiveth sins mm. and saveth in the time of affliction. So, if our oh. Lord, if the Lord, <laughs> if our Lord and Savior is, is exercises patience, what what more of us, man? You know, I want to say, too, that, that verse always reminded me of, of Peter, too. Mm -hmm. uh, not, you Peter or Paul? Uh, shipwreck. Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul. Paul. Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. When he went through all those adversity, you know, being shipwrecked and bitten by a serpent, yeah. um, he he came to his own uh, country and coming up against him. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, man, you know what? This shit hard, funny. You yeah. know, Lord, I can't do it. No, man, he mm -hmm. suffered, man. Yeah, he long suffered, man. That was a long journey, man. It wasn't nothing quick. It wasn't just a, a, a trip to the store and back. You know, that was something that took patience, man. Mm -hmm. You know, especially through adversity. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. it's easy to be patient and, and long suffering when you're born. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just chilling. Mm -hmm. You know, but when, when shit coming from left and right, mm -hmm. go up and down. You're like, man, hey, yeah. the, the Lord got to be dealing with you, man. If I yeah. do this, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It says, uh, verse 12, Woe be to the fearful heart and faint hand and the sinner that go on two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. Mm. 
Well, that Lord ain't gonna have that wall of protection around you, man. Like you speak to the, uh, in the book of uh, Zechariah, man. The Lord ain't gonna have that that, that, that wall of fire around you, man. Why? Because you lack patience, man. You know, you lack patience, man. It says, uh, this is a uh, last verse, verse fourteen. Woe unto you that have lost patience. Woe me to destruction, man. Destruction to you who have lost patience. Because you destroy your own self, man. You know? Not <coughs> so, so like that. not having the ability to exercise patience, man. You destroy your own self, man. It says, and what will you do when the Lord shall visit you, man? You go pain. You know, because you don't you haven't been exercising, man. So and this really goes to, to you, you know, and we ain't go, you know, going in on it, but this goes to you, you, you men who call yourself Israelites. Who come up some other, some other way, man? You know, you lack that ability to start from the bottom, man. You know, you lack that ability to go through the trials and the tribulations that that Yahweh is going to put you through. Man. So you try to come up to, uh, some other way and start your kingdom here in, in Babylon. Man. You know, John, kind of uh, act on the precepts of the brother. Right? Okay, kind of, this is um, the book of James, chapter five. But verse 7, it says, Be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth, and had long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. In which, you know, even one thing as far as, um, you know, our lives here in captivity, especially in Babylon, is there's a lot of things that we really should learn just in our life coming up, we don't we don't learn that this life isn't geared towards that. Like we don't most of us don't haven't learned how to grow crops or you know really even how to be effective fishermen and learning just certain certain basic things that uh, a man of old kind of uh, 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 herd animals, you know, uh, husband husbandry, you know what I'm saying? We haven't learned these skills because we've been so disconnected and separated from but these were essence, the essence of life, you know, yeah. raising chickens and like, yeah. killing them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, scaling the fish, scaling the fish and cleaning the fish, yeah. uh, 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 cleaning, you know, deer meat, you know, if we have, we lost the, the simple essences and the simple arts of life through this uh, captivity. But this analogy as far as the husbandmen are going to agriculture, those are, that's, a, that's an occupation in which you will be a fool <laughs> about that patience. Yeah. If, you, if you're planting a potato farm and you're going to plant the potatoes and then a week later you're ready to grow some potatoes, like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you know, what are you doing? Right. You got to allow the, do you understand the course of seasons and rain and sun and fertilization and weeding? There's a whole process. The scripture says that patience uh, yeah. Bro, that shows you that that's the, really lacking lack of patience is the spirit of, of, the, of the heathens, man. Yeah. Because just going to your point of, of how you're really supposed to uh, labor and have patience as far as we're dealing with uh, uh, planting and seed and soil. Because these fathers, they, they speed up the process, man. Yep. You know, yeah. Esau is the main example of how to became patient. Mm -hmm. Look how sloppy his kingdom is. Exactly. Everything just yeah. Throwing up houses, throwing up houses, and yeah. creating a microwave. Microwave. Yeah. <laughs> that's like that's, that's, that's all this is. Then now you got people who are obese. People, people being obese is from impatience. I don't know how to move now. Yeah. And then they can be gluttonous and continue to just consume and consume. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So like. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Uh. James 5 and 8. Be ye, be ye also patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord draw nigh. You see, man, hey, man, yeah. our redemption, Lord willing, is nigh, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, even in the spirit, and this being the year, patient in the return of our Lord, Yahweh, Washington, Yahweh, Shah, we still have to be patient, but at the same time, this haste isn't going up in vain. Brothers, you know, like, like I said, as far as the you know, leisure of our camp, as far as pushing us, and then, and then it's still the confidence for us to push ourselves. 
going to the spirit of hastening the return of our Lord, for us pushing, doing more videos, being more active in the spirit, continuing to read, pray, fast, build, just in all facets. This is because our Lord is drawing a mountain. Yeah. You know, we're almost out this motherfucker. Yeah. That's, that's Revelation 3, 318. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No? Yeah, matter of fact, uh, look at that quote on there. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're supposed to that. Uh, that's the whole chapter. Yeah. The book of Revelation, chapter 3, and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Oh, the word of thy, of the word of, sorry, the word of thy or my, my patience. Of my patience. The word of Yahweh Shinnah, Shai's patience, man. It was, that's a, uh, really when you think about it, that's a, uh, uh, an attribute that should be understood that the elect will have. That spirit of patience, long suffering. Because what? Yahweh Shinnah, Shai, and Yahweh Shai, their powers are, are patient and long suffering. There's, man, they just suffered us. Trying to get right a thousand years. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Heavenly Father. Yeah. The suffering has been patient with us for thousands of years. Yeah. We can't give them you know, a lifetime or two. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, whatever it takes. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Listen, it's, they ain't a time. It's, the truth a lot of times boils down to simple components, but it's ain't a time to be simple, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There, there's, a, there's a beauty and an elegance to really move it in simple terms, but at the same time, not being simple. Like I said, there's a beauty and elegance to it, man. There's, there's an art to uh, uh, be a patient and waiting for the Lord. And of course, you have to like, continue in the work. Just because you're waiting for, for, something, for something in the day to happen, don't mean you just sitting on your ass and just, you know, sitting at home eating eat Cheetos and shit, man. No, you, we're, we're active. We're, we're pushing. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're uh, uh, trusting in the Lord to uh, 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 sustain us and prepare us for that time, man. It says, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. And see, this is going to the Heavenly Father and how it shine, keeping us. You see, there's certain attributes that, like I said, he, uh, uh, through prophecy, we understand are going to be instilled in the elect. Lord, when we're, we're a part of that elect, and those same attributes are, are put in the elect, those are the same attributes and the same spirits, and how about you know, going to come back and scoop up out of you. Says, we shall come upon all the world. And it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it ain't like it's not coming. These, these the, the, the tough, evil side of the scriptures, bro, they're coming. You know, they're, and, it's, and it's evidence of that every single day. It's like every day you turn on the news and you go on uh, 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 and search on, on, online. It's always something, man. Always. Always, always something happened that could lead to a, a big spark and a big jump in prophecy. And that's because these are signs that uh, uh, our, our Lord and Messiah, Yahweh Shah, is, is drawing on them. Hey, hey, and that goes back to the point we were making earlier. Like, this is not the uh, uncoming man. This is all we be trying. So, yeah, just like us, well, this something that's not uncommon to man. Like, this yeah. is not specified and tailored to us. Mm -hmm. The whole world is going to have to be tried. Man. Yeah. You know? Has the whole world been patient? No. Right. They're in the wrong spirit. Right. We've been in the right spirit. So that's what's going to separate us. When everyone is trying on this level. Mm -hmm. You know? I eat the chip, man. When it comes time to take the chip, you know? Our patience and long suffering has built us to the point where we don't have to have a quick meal. And get mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, when anybody else who's going through the drive to, mm -hmm. you know, give a number to come You know? Yeah. It says, we shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. We on the earth, man. <laughs> you know, and, and this time is coming, man. And, you know, and like I said, the, the word that brothers have been saying for the course of the, of the night before, of course, the lesson man, is exercise. Right. Just, just, you know, one thing I harp on time to time, man, just try to get 1% better every day. Yeah. A little bit every day over the course of time goes a long way, man. You see what I'm saying? And just have trust in that faith that how about Shinyal Shah is working uh, uh, in our in our best interest, man. And you know, when you when we are going through certain situations, if that's in the uh, forefront or uh, uh, you know heavily laden within our minds, hey man, it's going everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to work out for the good of those who believe and trust in Yahweh Shinyal Shah. Okay. All right, before we close it out, uh, if y'all ever get and you know feel impatient and, and go read Isaiah 53 see how patient the world is for you. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yeah. So, uh, no, we go ahead close out. Shout out to the brothers on the Yeah, shout out to the brothers on the comment. Yeah, shout out to the brothers on the comment. Lord willing, you've been edified. Before we close out, of course, we give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Prophet Dash. Double honor to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who lead teaching rule well. Love and honor to you. I can push the word, true faith, and see you across the four corners. Until next time, shalom. Shalom.